Well, good afternoon and welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. I'm Susie. So for lunch today, we are gonna have an Italian grinder salad, which by the way, as you see us making it, you can tell that this could actually be put into uh, like a hoagie sub, like pull a little of the bread out and put your salad in there and have a sub sandwich. But uh, we're gonna have it as a salad today. So I'm going to start with, let me tell you what the ingredients are because I might work a little fast on this. So the actual salad part consists of, I have pre-washed an entire head of iceberg lettuce. I'm going to use a half of the red onion and I'm gonna thinly slice that. I am choosing to use pre-sliced pepperoncinis. You could use pre-sliced or sliced banana peppers. Uh, I'm using the Flavor Bombs uh, large cherry tomatoes. I've already washed them. I'm going to use about a quarter of a pound and I will chop pepperoni and I have the large pepperoni. The same with a quarter of a pound of salami. Provolone cheese, it's sliced, but I'm gonna chop it up as well. I have deli turkey and deli ham. So with a lot of protein in this and also have the grated Parmesan cheese. Now that's the salad. The dressing will consist of a half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a teaspoon of the pepper juice, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of salt, pepper to taste, and we're gonna get started. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. Now, I may not use this entire head. It was a very tight head of lettuce, but I want to start by just kind of breaking it up a little bit. It has been washed, and you'll, but this, the food, the salad itself is gonna be very chopped up, but I don't wanna uh, bruise my lettuce, so I'm just gonna get a good start in it. As you can see, I'm not doing this too fine yet because it's gonna be chopped more and more and more as we add the ingredients. I'm gonna cut my onion in half and we'll get the paper off the onion and the ends. Is you're gonna slice it thinly. Remember, we're only using a half an onion here. All right, now what I normally would do for this grinder salad is I would put the onion on top of this lettuce because as I'm chopping it, it's gonna get chopped more. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna mix it in there so we can pull the onion out if we have to, the tomatoes. Now the tomatoes, I am. I am gonna cut them in half and then throw them in the top, right in here because they're gonna get chopped more and more. And the recipe called for um, a cup of chopped, so that's not gonna be that whole container. Okay, now we have our iceberg lettuce. Normally we would have the uh, sliced onion on here. We have the tomato. I am going to put in a third of a cup of the chopped uh, pepperoni cheese. Um, I just, I like banana peppers. I really do like banana peppers, but I, really like chopped, I mean, I really like pepperoni chinis, chinis just a little bit better. So I'm gonna put about a third of a cup in here. And now we're gonna start adding our protein. We're going to add some pepperoni. Uh, the recipe calls for a fourth of a pound. This is probably a fourth of a pound. I'm gonna see if I have enough. I might wanna add a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little cut We'll put this on. That's about a fourth of a pound. Doing the same thing with my salami. This is genuine salami. All right, now we're going to do the same thing with our salami. And we can kind of spread this out just a wee bit. All right, now I have turkey. I bought 
deli turkey. I actually have just plain oven roasted turkey. Same thing, probably about a quarter of a pound of this. I guess I'll cut it in half a little bit though to get it up on our salad. And now the original recipe didn't call for ham. Um, my recipe did call for ham. And I have a uh, black forest ham. Yeah. Get it up there on our salad. And a quarter of a pound of provolone. I went ahead and got the sliced. I'm gonna use four good slices. Give it a little bit of a cut. I don't wanna add my, my um, parm on here yet. I wanna put that in the bowl. Now comes the fun. You're gonna take your knife and you're just gonna start cutting this all in together. Just crazy cuts. But this is specifically make sure your proteins are really, really cut up, really chopped up. So I'm taking my hands through here just to make sure those tomatoes, maybe we can check it out and make sure it's chopped pretty good once it hits the bowl, yes. But you can see where you could just put this on your hoagie bun or your hard roll and um, it'd make a delicious sandwich. It's gonna already have the dressing on it anyway. All right, now remember, I did not chop my onions up in there. I want them where I can pull them out if I, when I'm eating my salad. We wanna put a quarter of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. You know I like the natural grated Parmesan that I get from HEV. I know that's a little bit more, but there's another thing that I like a lot of, Parmesan cheese. Now I'm gonna have to use my spoons. I definitely don't want to put my hands in there. Get that a mix up in there. Um, you know, you could possibly also use shaved parm um, and put it in while you're chopping it. That would be just fine too. So if you happen to have that in the refrigerator and you don't have grated, don't, don't let that be a hinder. All right, now in the smaller bowl, I am going to put in, we're gonna make the dressing. I'm gonna start with a half a cup of mayonnaise. It looks like a half a cup. And remember I said we have two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. We have um, one teaspoon of the pepper juice. It's just more acid. We have a teaspoon of garlic powder. We have a teaspoon of dried oregano and half a teaspoon of salt. And I use kosher salt. And I'm going to grind the pepper up in it. I want it pepper to taste. Now pepper is a flavor I do like. So there'll be probably maybe a half a teaspoon of pepper in there. And I'm gonna whisk this. This is just a creamy Italian dressing. That's all that is. I'm gonna taste just a tad of it to see. Yeah, that's good. Maybe a little bit more pepper cheese. So I think I've actually put in two teaspoons of pepper juice. Yeah, now it's a little loose. All right, now we're just gonna pour this over our salad. Now let's give this a toss. Mm. Man, oh man, oh man. Don't you wanna be here in my kitchen today? I bet you do. This looks delicious. That's what we're having for lunch today. Our Italian grinder salad, which can also be served in a sub bread and have an Italian grinder sub. Now, let me clean this little mess up. You come back and have a bite of salad with me. All right, welcome back. I kind of cleaned up my little area here and I have now served myself this beautiful Italian grinder salad. And with ours for lunch, we're having these, H-E-B makes them, they're called garlic crisps. 
and they're just to munch on. And Dina just reminded me, Joshua, our grandson loves croutons, so maybe he might get a box of these from Grandma. <laughs> they're very good and garlicky. All right, so let's try our salad. I've got some meat, cheese, lettuce, no onion. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh my goodness, folks. That's delicious. And I can, in my head, I can imagine what it will taste like in the um, hard crusty sub, sub roll. It would be awesome. Um, local sandwich shops, I don't want to say your name. Beware. Now there's a Susie sandwich. So we are so excited that you've joined us and we're up to 312 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for supporting us on Facebook. And always remember to subscribe, like, and share on our YouTube channel. Or if you see us on Facebook, hit our little QR code. It'll take you straight over there. And then you can hit the subscribe button and join us every Wednesday when we have a new video coming out. And we're also on Instagram. And if you don't have a place to worship, please always join us at any one of our Glad Tidings locations. In Central Texas here, we have one church, one theology, five locations, and some awesome pastors that deliver the message of the Word of God, truly the Word of God. God bless you. I pray for you. And I love you. Bye-bye.